This is a short screencast to show you how to create a course in Moodle 2. This is part of a series of screencasts that can be found on my website enhancingteaching.com or feel free to contact me via email or Twitter at the accounts below. There are a variety of roles available in Moodle. You can be an administrator, a course creator, a teacher, a student or a guest. Here I'm logged in as a course administrator, but I'm masquerading as a course crea creator, Dermot O'Brien. So we have a selection of categories available to us, and if we click on uh, the gear collage to here, this category here, we'll see that we have a variety of subcategories available here. This is all the teachers' names, and under each one of those categories is every one of the courses that each of those teachers actually are involved in. If we scroll down the bottom of the screen, we will see the facility to search courses uh, is, is here. If we come back to the category page, you will see all of the different schools, St. Paul's, Comora College, the Gale Colossia and so on, that are uh, listed on this Moodle site. So if we click into Comora where Dermot is, is not registered as a user, all he will see is each one of the courses, each one of the areas available in here and because each one are password protected Dermot has no access uh, to this particular group. However, if we come back to the categories where Dermot is associated with and Dermot is a course creator for Gale uh, the Gale School, when we scroll down the bottom Dermot has, because he's a course creator, has this icon here, add a new course. Not every teacher is a course creator and therefore will not have this icon available to them. So for Dermot to create a new course, he can add it in here, click add course. It's going to be created in this category here under schools and you give it a full name, we'll say English 101. And you fill in all of the details um, <coughs> as you scroll down through whatever you, you want to do. Do you want it in a topics format, a weekly format and so on. And each one of these items, if you're not sure what's involved, just click on the question mark and it will uh, bring up an explanation for you. But very simply, you can create a course just by clicking on Save Changes. When you've done that, if you just come in, there's the course English 101. And if Dermot wants to assign a teacher's name to this particular course, clicks on English 101 and then wants to click, uh, uh, wants to add a teacher to this particular course. So in order to add a teacher to the course, say for example he's created a course for one of his colleagues, he comes down to Users, clicks on Users, goes down and Enrolled Users, and because Dermot created this course he's automatically uh, logged on as a user, as a teacher and uh, as a course coordinator. But what he wants to do is enroll his colleague on the course. So he comes in here, clicks on enroll users and this screen is brought up. So he can enroll any students on it by finding their name and clicking enroll. But if he wants to enroll a colleague as a teacher on this course, clicks on the drop down menu, clicks on teacher and then finds his colleague. So we'll say for example that his colleague is, is Sinead Breen, so he clicks and enrolls Sinead as one of the teachers on the course. And you can enroll several people as teachers with teacher privileges on the course. Once you are finished, once you have added them in, let's just click on the Finish Enroll Users, and there we go, Sinead is a teacher on the course, and so is Dermot. Again, just to, to refresh, I'll give you an example as a student, if you wanted to enroll a student, and he decides that Miriam Bergen is one of the students. Once this drop down menu is, is fixed to student, he can click enroll and therefore Miriam is enrolled in the course. And it's as simple as that. Okay. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, you have my details here. Thank you.